Okay, guys, I just purchased this Canon. Oh, I forget the number. The Oh, there it is right there. It is the TS9521C. And I am checking it out, seeing if I like it. It's a craft printer. I got rid of my HP 7616, I think, or 7612, which was ginormous. And I switched over to this one because it's supposed to be able to print 12 by 12 sheets borderless. Um, and it does. Hold on one second. Okay, so I purchased some digital papers off of Etsy for five or six dollars. Um, it's makeup themed. I'm getting ready to do an album and I want to do a makeup themed album. And so I couldn't find any papers in the stores and Michael's or Joann's that was cute enough, my style, whatever. You can always find amazing papers on Etsy. Um, they have everything that you could just, any genre, any masculine papers, just whatever you need. You just have to be able to print it. Because taking it to Costco or Staples in L.A., I just haven't found that to be cost efficient. So when I was doing my research, people talked about this brand, Red River Paper, and how their paper was so amazing and made a huge difference in the way that your photos, in the way that your papers will look when they are printed out. And if I'm being, and the paper is expensive. I think I paid for 50 sheets. I think I paid 30 bucks. For, this is 88 pound and the one underneath here is 60 pound. I got the polar matte paper <clears throat> and people swear by this paper. However, I used, I tested Michael's 65 pound 12 by 12 weight paper and that's this paper right here. It is, even though it's 65 pounds, this paper, this cardstock, um, it's not paper, it's cardstock, it's 65 pounds. It is not as heavy as this right here. This is Red River paper and it is, this feels like Michael's 80 pound weight. Does Michael Lee's even have an 80 pound weight? They don't, I think I just made that up. Um, they have the 110 or 100 pound and then they have the other one. Okay, all that to say, um, this paper here is way more thick. It feels thicker than this however color wise yeah very 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 difficult to tell the difference there's a slight difference in the undertone of the background here this one seems like it's a little bit darker than this one but other than that it's not enough to make or break me purchasing some paper for very inexpensive versus a $30 paper now this is quality it feels thick it really does but maybe you're not looking for thick. Matter of fact, for my album, matting it with this would just make the papers droop. It would be a heavier. I mean, I could figure out stuff to do with it on chipboard. You know, this heavier paper might be fine. But on my paper, paper pages, no. I think that actually this 65 pound paper would be, from Michael's, would be a better choice. So then I did, you know, Joann's has 12 by 12 in the 110 pound. And that is going to be this one here. And it feels more flimsy than this one. Now, what I will say is the color on my screen is a deeper background purple, which actually looks a little bit more like this one here. The background on this one is lighter. I can tell. Um, the other colors, eh, they all about look the same. But that background color... This one is lighter. This is the Red River paper. And this one here is the Joann's 110 pound cardstock. Even though it's more flimsy, it is indeed, um, it just, it, there's a difference in the color. Now, I think there is a right and wrong side of this paper. And I'm not 100% sure I use the right, the proper size, this proper side. I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing, for 30 bucks a box, eh, I don't think so. I'm thinking no. <laughs> I'm thinking it's just not worth it. And I am pleased with the results on the other cardstock. So I'm going to leave them out overnight and see if I get any change in the saturation or how it absorbs into the, the ink absorbs into the paper. But thus far, I'm happy with my purchase. It does go borderless. I no longer have that white 
a quarter inch border around the sides. This works. So we shall see um, how many sheets I can really do. <laughs> That's going to be the test. I am not into buying ink, and unfortunately, I can't do the pay $10 a month and the ink just automatically shows up. That's not offered for this printer that I know of at this time. They do have something that says, hey, when you run out, we'll send you something, but it's not a monthly $10 kind of subscription service that I was hoping for. But we'll see how many I can get. Right now, this has the, um, the ink that comes with it, which I'm sure is not full. And I don't know if I can refill those inks at Costco without it upsetting the printer. I know that when I did that with my HP 7612, I think it is, that one did not accept those inks at all. It started printing crazy. And I don't know that I want to break this machine or test that just yet. So I will probably buy, be buying the inks, which will probably cost me about 70 bucks for a pack. But hopefully I can print a bunch of papers. But we'll see. I mean, I just got it a couple of days ago. I've been dying to test it. I wasn't able to test it. It took me forever. And so I just wanted to show you guys the results again at this point, I just don't think that the Red River paper makes that big of a difference. It is thicker. So if you want some really nice quality, thick cardstock, maybe so. But at the 12 by 12 size at 30 bucks, eh, you can catch a sale maybe. But outside of that, I don't know that I would do it. All right, guys. Thanks for popping in and hanging with me. Catch you later.